Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, Governor Jerry Brown recently signed the California state budget on time and with a simple majority as mandated under Prop 25. But what did we get with us now to discuss more about that is Assemblyman Alan Mansour representing the 68th District. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Uh, so did we get anywhere positive with this budget? Well, we reduced taxes and uh, so the actual, the average everyday taxpayer is going to see a net increase in their wallet and that's tangible money that they can use to spend however they they choose so that was a good accomplishment uh, but we still need reform the the current budget is not a good one it counts on revenue or excuse me well it counts on on billions that we do not have and uh, it does not contain any types of reform pension reform welfare reform uh, regulatory reform, a hard spending cap. These are things that we needed a long time ago. We need these things today. Now you got the no tax extension, you got no new taxes, but do you feel like you left a lot on the table essentially by not having leverage in negotiation to discuss uh, pension reform for instance? Well Republicans put a very good budget on the table a while back and it did not have any cuts to education and did not raise taxes and that was not even given a, a, a worthwhile debate uh, by the Democrats. But uh, the governor has said uh, he wanted to do these things uh, some time ago, pension reform, yet I have personally asked him and he said, no, we're not going to do any pension reform, we're just going to do cuts and tax increases. But we clearly need that reform, uh, we still need it, we could still do it today. There, it boils down to political will and if they're willing to do it, I think they'll see that we're willing, willing to do it as well. How do you project you could actually make some real headway on pension reform? Well, it's, it's coming to the point where we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to do something that's more in line with the private sector. If you retire at 100% of your last year's pay, that is unsustainable, and the taxpayer has to make up the difference. When there are not enough earnings, they go back to the general fund to make up the difference, and that comes out of education, uh, police, fire, public safety, uh, roads and infrastructure, uh, so we need that reform. It, it, it has to take place. You know, one thing people don't really talk about is the, li <laughs> the uh, liability we already have. You can't go back and renegotiate past contracts. A deal is a deal, essentially. So what we're talking about is just the liability additional moving forward if we make no changes. How big a liability do we have as these uh, pensions come due? Well, it, it is an enormous liability. Uh, it, it's in the hundreds of millions. But you can renegotiate with the public employee unions, uh, but they have to be willing to negotiate, and they're not always willing to do that. Uh, but yes, uh, for f future hires, you could uh, make more of a hybrid plan or something that's more of a defined benefit, something that's more in line with the private sector, absolutely. Okay, and regulatory reform is something you didn't have a chance to negotiate during this budget process. What changes do you think are the most important that need to be dealt with? Well, people talk about raising taxes, which personally I do not support because I believe we're overtaxed and that drives businesses to other states. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about regulatory reform, look at Carl's Jr., for example. They are leaving, moving to another state because it takes up to two years to open up a store in California whereas in other states maybe it just takes two months and when when businesses leave they take the jobs with them uh, more people end up on, on unemployment and welfare and you have decreases in revenue when we reduce regulation reduce taxes bring the jobs back more people will be working and contributing into that tax base the tax revenue so we can pay for things like a good ed good education and public safety what uh, regulations are the biggest offenders in your view well you know there's so many you have you have federal state uh... local uh... you know uh environmental regulations all all kinds of things conditional use permits uh, there's a whole number of things that, that add up to the lengthy, it's a time delay is what it is. And you just don't see those types of problems in, in many other states. All right. Thank you very much, Alan Mansour, for being here. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. Stay with us. More HLN next.